Yo, what's up, studio? Okay, we get pretty busy for some times of year. This is one of them. It's kind of in the middle of the year, but uh, we figured we'd turn it into a travel vlog style mm -hmm. documentation of what we're doing. Yeah. Google I.O. is next week. Uh, we have some devices and things to shoot right before we head out there. And there's actually also another YouTube private event for yeah, it's called YouTube Crew. YouTube Creator Crew Day is what they're calling it. And yeah. Jono and I had planned to go out to that like a few weeks ago, then yeah. found out IO's the day after. Shout out to Google and YouTube, <laughs> yes. putting them right next to each other. So they're in California, so there's a lot of planning and logistics and shooting and editing and things that are all happening at once. And we figured we'd peel back the curtain a little bit and show you what we're doing. Yeah, we, we've devised a bit of a plan. So uh, this is what we're planning on This doing. needs a plan. It won't work if we don't write this down, <laughs> but we should do it. <laughs> So everyone's in the studio Monday, but Andrew and Jono need to fly to San Francisco Monday night. Tuesday morning, Andrew and Jono go to YouTube Creator Day while back in New Jersey, Adam and Brandon are gonna pack all the gear we need to shoot main channel videos and podcast. While Andrew and Jono wrap up Creator Crew Day, Brandon, Marquez, David, and Adam all land in San Francisco and we swap hotels down to Mountain View, California near Google I.O. So this is where everything gets hectic. Wednesday morning before I.O., there's a Project Starline briefing. Then afterwards, the whole crew goes to the Google I.O. event. After the event, everyone rides home to the hotel. David and Marquez start writing for a main channel video. Brandon starts setting up for the main channel video and Adam and Andrew start setting up for the podcast. Marquez starts shooting A-roll for main channel video. Then after that, Andrew, David, and Marquez head over to the room we have the podcast set up in and we start shooting podcast. After podcast, Marquez will start editing and finishing up the main channel video. Adam will start inputting footage, sending audio to Ellis back in New Jersey and edit through the night. Thursday morning, we all wake up, get on a plane, head back to New Jersey. Adam will probably still be editing on the plane and then we wrap everything up Thursday afternoon just for podcasts to be perfectly on time Friday morning. All right, landed. Yeah. Step one out of many steps is done, but Jono and I are here. We have our event tomorrow morning yeah. where we'll meet everyone. So we're getting an Uber and then probably gonna stop at the hotel and they're probably gonna get in and out. I think that's the plan. That's, that's no, could we get in and out before? No. Okay, so uh, we are in Kearney, New Jersey right now. Uh, we're starting the shoot. Well, we're starting the packing for the shoot. I'm we coming, right? Yeah, we're fitting him in one of the bags. We're trying a thing. I don't know if it's gonna work fully, but we're gonna try it regardless. So basically, I'm just gonna take this lantern and the tiny amaran and hopefully light both the A-roll and the podcast with that on the fly. Wish me luck. The main thing though is I'm trying to figure out if it's worth bringing the 60XS, which is teeny, absolutely minuscule. And also the perk is that it can hook up to batteries. So you don't have to I just burped mid-sentence, that was lovely. But for like an hour-long episode, roughly, of a podcast, that might be risky. So so we can either bring this, or we can just bring David. What the heck happened here? So we had to, we had to break down the whole podcast setup somehow and stuff it in a box that we could bring with us on a plane and then reset up in the hotel room that we don't know what it looks like. So there's a lot of moving parts. So basically, we have the Rodecaster, all the mics, Marquez's mic gets its own special case. I brought some clamps, some Velcro just in case, Ellis's favorite pink tape right there, all the cables in the corner, laptop, got it all good to go. And through the magic of editing, we should get all of this in this bag. Wait, are you serious? That bag? You're crazy. It's not worth it. It's not gonna fit. I don't it's not doing. gonna fit. How are we doing? It's gonna grip. Now that that's settled, we can just sort of like figure out um, what we want to like mount the 
the uh, light to? Because, like, we can't exactly bring a C stand. Okay, so listen, I don't know who the hell bought this or why the hell we bought this, but it is the best thing in existence. It is the teeniest, the teeniest little C stand. Look at that. And then I can probably fit the arm in the bag too. No, I can't. Never mind. Okay, we'll figure that out. TBD. Yeah. All right, so we're getting the YouTube creator day right now. I'm pretty sure like Marquez and them just got to the airport. Yeah. So they're gonna start flying here. We're gonna go into this. I'm sorry about the volume. There's planes and wind. We're right next to San Francisco airport, but- It's all secret stuff. It's Yeah, I, we're not allowed <laughs> to talk much about this. I think it's just kind of like uh, their first time trying this, but uh, yeah, this should be fun. Meet some cool new people and then we'll meet all the guys in a few hours. Okay, friends, we are off to the airport. We are packed. We have, what, four bags? Uh, more than that. Five bags? More bags than four bags. We have three I count tripod the bags. I 33. There's 33. <laughs> 33 bags? 33 Fair bags. Enough. Marquez is in the front. Hi, Marquez. Well, yeah, we're uh, hopefully gonna get through with no issues through security, so that's... I've, I that's the next day. step. I've never gone through security with no issues. I guarantee you there will be no issues because I was at the airport never. four hours ago and there were Andrew no and issues at the airport. Go through and we get to the other side. You heard it first. Oh, oh god, that that's easy. shaky. We're at the airport. We got our bags. We're good now. What is my hair doing right now? I don't know. Mine is doing the same thing. <laughs> Marquez is up there. He's, he's, he's way ahead of us. Marquez's hair doesn't change. It's just the same every day. It's really annoying. Alright, so creator crew day done. John probably learned way more than I did because he paid <laughs> way more attention to things behind the scenes. Um, there was there was something I, I was able to see that was very nice. I wish I could talk about it. Yeah, we're not allowed to say anything about it, yeah. which kind of sucks, but there was some cool stuff. We got to meet some really cool people. Yeah. Um, we are now waiting for our Uber to go down to Palo Alto yeah. for Google I.O. All the boys just landed. They're gonna grab an Uber soon. And I think Michael's gonna visit us down there, which would be awesome. I haven't seen him in like yeah. probably a year and a half or two years. I haven't years. met him yet. You haven't met him yeah. yet? Yeah, so uh, yeah, waiting for the Uber. Also, we're just like at this courtyard, but like YouTube is everywhere around here. Look at this. That's YouTube. I think that's YouTube. All the way down there was YouTube. That's Walmart too. Yeah, so we're just, we out here. Yeah. But off to IO. Next stop. Okay, so we made it. We made it. We have arrived. Um, in so and out. Baggage claim number five to get all of our stuff. And then in and, in and out. out. Audio's terrible again, but crew's here. In and out. Round two. Where are the counter at? Round counter. One round two. one for some, round two, two for others. Uh, we got everyone here. Marquez loading up, obviously back here and we're waiting for Michael. So the next clip should be Michael arriving. And when's the last time anyone seen Michael? Like in person? Two years. Uh, was, two, was it when he was like, but when we had the barbecue, you know, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, like it's been that long. Through the magic of editing, like, Michael will now be right here. Michael! <laughs> that did not edit well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so day two is wrapped. Everything's going to schedule so far tomorrow. Brandon, David, and Marquez have a Starline briefing first thing in the morning, and then the rest of us meet them there for a 10 or 11 o'clock Google I.O., and that's when we all get to crunch time. So tomorrow's really gonna see if this plan works out for the best, because we have to record a podcast and multiple A-rolls for multiple different main channel videos. Um, busy day tomorrow, day two wrapped. Let's see how this goes. Okay, it is 5.32 a.m. I'm proud of us for being punctual. Yeah, Hell yeah. We, we, we agreed on five o'clock and we're two minutes late only because we were picking a coffee spot. <laughs> so shout out to Phil's. Yep, yeah. shout out to Phil's. It is a day three for Andrew and Jono. Day two for us. Yeah. It's Google I.O. today. So we're starting it off with some morning miles. Insert picture of miles right here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll see you there. We are on our way to I.O. We have all the bags we need. 
um, literally just brought uh, all the camera gear and tripod, and then we left a lot of like the podcast stuff at the uh, hotel for Adam to start setting up. So truly double duty today. All right, so we're gonna go do Starline demo, um, which is Google's like hollow booth light field display thing that you uh, talk to other people in. I'm very excited for this. Yeah, it's, it got announced a couple of years ago, but they have a brand new version that they're going to be announcing at IO and we're getting like some exclusive time with it. And then we're also going to have like a contained area we can use it in, which is gonna be cool. So we're gonna go do that now and then we're gonna go see the keynote and then we have more time with Starline and then we have more IO stuff and then we're doing the podcast and I think we're putting out seven videos at least. Yeah, seven to 10. So Project Starline is basically this like 3D holographic light field display video conferencing booth. Basically Google wants you to feel like you could sit in front of this display with cameras on the left, right, and top of the display and feel like you're actually there with the person, right? Like right now we have video conferencing on Zoom and FaceTime and it's just this 2D image of a person and you don't really get this presence feeling like you're in the room with the person. But Google is using this special light field display technology and a bunch of special hardware and AI and all of this rendering in real time to make you feel like you're actually sitting in the room with that person. So we're gonna go check that out today. I mean, it's fascinating how like, it's, it's mainly seeing your hands like up and about, but it looks like it's, re Jesus. <laughs> yeah, let me, uh, let's give it a quick high five. Yeah, fist fist bump. Bump. Let's do a fist yeah. bump, you know? Let's, here. That <laughs> is absurd. <laughs> I know you're a model because it, you right. look like an Unreal Engine model, but you're also, it's like so realistic. It's like the, the tech demo of Unreal Engine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. It feels, we hope just like, the real world like nothing like a 3d model or video game or movie you've ever seen but just completely real can you do the reach out thing again <laughs> yeah let's do a fist bump uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <so weird. laughs> all right it is 9 40 we're about to head in now everyone is uh everyone's ready they just got back from project starline whole team together let's find our seats so we made it. We're in IO finally. They're talking about embargo things. I'm just gonna turn this off now. Okay, bye. So the show's over. What do you guys think? Tune into AI. the Waveform podcast. <laughs> Where are we going, David? Okay. We're going to the Google campus to do a very oh. specialized contained Starline demo so that we can actually show people what it looks like to use the light field display. Who's going to get to try it out? Well, Brandon and, and Marquez and I tried it earlier. I think you guys will have some time because it only takes like 30 seconds. Oh, really? We're going to get reactions of you guys trying it too and it f blows your mind. Please beep that out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Open your eyes. Oh. What's that? I don't like this at all. <laughs> <laughs> you you Phase, <laughs> Phase out. You can't go too far back. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's all. Pretty good. It's like a foot behind you. That's so cool. That's yeah. weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty pretty high res, pretty high fidelity. You can see textures. Yeah. I can I can see it kind of like breaking at the edges of it, but oh, yeah, yeah it's fantastic. See, if we had this, I I wouldn't have to move. <laughs> an object. Wow. Okay. Look around. You can hold it. It feels like I can hold it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh wait, I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at your watch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back from I.O. in the hotel, ready to record the podcast. I have the roadcaster, uh, the mics with over here, the cloud lifters. We have all the mics, Marquez's mic and tripod. Yep. Angie's mic and tripod. I don't know what is happening over there. <laughs> <laughs> David's mic and tripod. Okay, yeah. All good. Brandon's helping me on camera over here, and he'll talk you through the cameras. 
We have um, a monster. No, this is not a monster. I'm doing great. Do that again. This is a V-Raptor. We're shooting this with ELQ right now. So we have four hours and 40 minutes of runtime. And then we have this A1 over here, which is going to be a follow cam, producer cam, and tights of all three of these people. And we have this Amaran set up. The first time it's being used, actually. Yep. Connected to a lantern, which is really soft, which is really good for a small space. And natural lighting, so there. Brendan's really excited about the light. Yes, I am. <laughs> Podcast done. We're, we're in here. We wrapped up. We're breaking it down now. I don't. We're not shooting a main channel video. Yeah, that made yeah. it a little easier. That's okay. It's we really dark. Last week and it turns out that was enough. Yeah. 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 My day just got so much easier. <laughs> How did it change your day? It didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. All right, it's 4:40 a.m. We're all in the lobby, and um, now we're gonna leave. We're tired. We're tired. <laughs> we're going to leave now. Every single other time, because I do have a few problems. Okay, we are on the last stretch of this trip. I'm very hungry, very tired, but we're almost home free. So that's a win. But I'm gonna try and watch Black Adam. Um, I've heard really like bad things about this movie, so we're gonna find out. Um, but yeah, and I'm probably just gonna knock out and uh, order some eggs. Living the good life. All right, we're back. Right back where we started, like we never even left. <laughs> It feels like we left. <laughs> One eternity later. Yeah. Uh, but I think this was a successful trip. It was our first time documenting uh, some of the behind the scenes of like a road air trip. It was our biggest travel trip. It's usually, yeah. we the most we've ever done is four, and those are for like one day. This is six people for like four days. That was yeah. Fun fact, we dropped something fire on every single one of the channels in the past week. Yeah. Actually in like a three day span, because there's an autofocus video that happened to go live at the same mm -hmm. time, which is pretty sick. So let us know if you enjoyed something in this format. We do have a WWDC trip coming up with almost as insane logistics. We might do something similar if you guys enjoyed it. Uh, but let us know in the comments. How are you feeling? Yeah, let us know. Also, studio merch available. You know, if you want to make sure the studio channel can keep going on fun trips like this, you hit us up. Uh, it helps immensely. It helps immensely. So Marquez doesn't have to spend like 700,000 miles to get all of us to I spent my San Francisco. Miles. Yeah, I think he spent Worth almost it. every mile. But yeah, yeah, it was fun. Two, two more weeks of like regularly scheduled studio stuff. And then we're out there again for Apple. Make sure you subscribe to all the channels. For sure. That's the moral of the story. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. Thanks. Why do you think they left us here? Do you think they're embarrassed of us?